So now that you know simplicity of SAS, it is time to take a look at how SAS will be structured for a project. So project management and also to take a look what are imports and how we could use imports with SAS. Here on a side point, I found a nice structure of a SAS project. The article itself is created by Hugo, so you could take a look at it. So, uh, you could uh, also uh, read through the article, but what I'm interested in is this uh, structure uh, folders. So, as you can see, uh, the example is how we could might uh, organize our files with SAS. So, on the top level, we would have a SAS uh, folder, which we currently have in our uh, project. There are also other folders uh, in SAS folders like base folder, components folder, helpers, layout, pages, themes, vendors, etc, etc. Plan for this is to divide your SAS code through different folders. So for example, if you are creating the components like uh, buttons, you are styling the buttons, you will put those in a, a components folder. Then if you would have a home page or a contact page, you would put that file in pages folder. And by that you will divide your uh, SCSS code and uh, at the end, on the main structure of your folder, of your SAS folder here, uh, you could uh, have one main SCSS file. And in that SCSS file, you would import the uh, rest of the files uh, from other folders. So basically, uh, once your SCSS or SAS is compiled in the end, it will just compile this one file and uh, all of your uh, styling will be in that one file by those imports. But you will uh, kind of divide those uh, with multiple files so you could. Uh, it will be easier for you to work with the SAS or SCSS. I mentioned importing in main SCSS file. So if I would open up SCSS folder, my, my folder here, I have this style.scss and I will keep this style as my main file for my uh, uh, stylings. In that file, you could see this h1, kind of, I am, I'm having my h1 on my HTML and I'm styling it in my style.scss. And if I wish to kind of divide, to make this project management with uh, SCSS, so this here is a typography styling. So I could create a typography SCSS, but also I could divide that typography into its own folder so it will be easier uh, to project manage uh, this project, right? Uh, so I could uh, create the base folder here and inside that typography file. So here in SCSS I would create a new folder called base and inside of that base folder I would create a new file uh, called typography.scss. The underline here is uh, standard uh, with uh, SAS or SCSS once we create the files. So uh, it will be easier for us to import and we will know where the files are, etc. It is just normal syntax uh, for creating the files itself. So now, if I go to my style SCSS and I cut my code from here and I save it in my typography SCSS here and if I would save my file right now, Ctrl S to save, there is no that pop-up for pre pros that uh, it kinda successfully compiled the code. Even on my web page right now, there is no styling, because I removed the styling from my main SCSS file. And as I wish to divide my structure of my styling, uh, now I could use those imports so my styling would still be read uh, through the browser. So now in this style.scss, instead of typing styling here, I could use uh, at import, uh, this is the method that we could use through SCSS and I could use uh, import here to that will lead to my uh, file that I need to import. So in my case typography. So that slash and we have this base folder, I will use that and inside I have my typography.scss and SCSS is smart enough so the, it won't use the, that uh, uh, underline at the start and also it won't use that SCSS uh, at the end. So if I would save my file right now, the success of uh, pre-pros, uh, you, you will see that uh, pop up and on my screen my styling is read uh, properly.
So yes, this is how project management will look with SCSS. We would branch our code through files and folders and in the end we will bind all of those together in one file that will run our stylings. Let's see one more simple yet important feature of SAS called variables. Mm -hmm.